In today's episode, you will learn how to control a 5-inch TFT HMI touchscreen wirelessly using HC05 or HC06 Bluetooth module and an Android cell phone. This is a dual control system. The relays can be controlled using the HMI touchscreen and can also be controlled using your Android cell phone. Any load which is turned on using the HMI touchscreen can be turned off using the cell phone application. And any load which is turned on using the Android cell phone application can also be turned off using the HMI TFT touchscreen. With the help of this project, you can also monitor the sensor values on the screen and also in the application. This project is entirely based on my previous three tutorials. In the first tutorial, I created one button to control an LED and display the on time of a controller in seconds. In this tutorial, I covered all the basic functions. In second tutorial, I converted to images and then displayed those images on the LCD. While in third tutorial, I combined the techniques used in the first two tutorials. The sensor values as you can see on the screen are actually the images which I converted in the second tutorial. I explained the image conversion in very detail. So I highly recommend you should watch my previous three tutorials, otherwise you won't be able to make this project. Components used in this project are already explained in my previous tutorials and the components purchase links are given in the description. Without any further delay, Let's get started. This project is the modified version of the project which I created in third tutorial. As you can see, the GUI application is exactly the same. I'm using the same relay module and the same variable resistor in this project, I made only three changes. Number one, I added a Bluetooth module with serial port 3. If you don't know how to use the SC05 or SC06 Bluetooth module, then you should watch my Getting Started tutorial on how to use the Bluetooth module in which I explained everything in very detail. Like for example, how to change the name of the Bluetooth module, how to change the pin code or password, etc. Number two, I made a very little change in the controller programming so that I can communicate with the HMI touchscreen using my Android cell phone. So in this project I will not explain the entire program because I have already explained this program in my third tutorial on HMI touchscreen. But I will explain the changes which I made. Number three, I fixed all the components on the hardboard. So now let's discuss the programming. Once again, I want to tell you, if you didn't watch my previous three tutorials, then stop over here. First watch those tutorials and then you can resume from here. As you can see, it's a very long program, but trust me, it's really easy. And I'm not going to explain each and every instruction. Because of all the functions used in this program, I've already explained it in my previous three tutorials. Now let me show you the changes which I made. One more thing, make sure you use the higher version of the Arduino IDE. As you can see, I'm using 1.6.5 version of the Arduino IDE. All the variables, buttons, coordinates and functions are exactly the same. I didn't make any changes. The first change which I made was in the white step function. I activated the serial port 3. As my Bluetooth module is connected with the serial port 3 and as you can see 9600 is the baud rate. So this is the only change which I made in the white setup function. In every button function I added serial 3.println function 
to send the devices on and off information to the Android cell phone application. As you can see for button 1, I'm sending device 1 on and device 1 off and so on for the remaining buttons. The advantage of adding this instruction is that when you press the button on the HMI touch screen, it also sends the information to the Android cell phone application. This way you can know if someone turns on or turns off any load. Then I made another change over here to send the sensor value to the Android application. Now here comes the most important change. If serial 3 dot available greater than 0, if the Mega has received data on serial port 3, then simply read the serial port 3 and store the value in B data. B data is a variable which is already defined above. Then we simply compare the value stored in B data with a value which is stored in password 1. If both are equal, then we simply execute these instructions. These instructions are exactly the same which are used in the button functions. So I'm using the same exact instructions because I want to change the caption on the button. So when I press a button in my cell phone application, this way it can change the button caption on the HMI touch screen. So this way on the HMI screen you can control the writing on buttons from on to off or from off to on. I'm doing the same exact thing for all the buttons. I've already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Over here I connected a 5 volt adopter. If you want you can also connect this with your laptop through a USB cable. This is a variable resistor which I used as a sensor and over here you can see the values on the screen. If I rotate the knob of the variable resistor you can see an increase in the value and if I rotate the knob in another direction you can see a decrease in the value. Variable resistor is used as the sensor. If you want, you can connect any other sensor. This is the Bluetooth module you can use HC05 or HC06. The programming is same. As you can see, the LED is blinking fast, which means that currently it's not connected with the cell phone. This is the 7 channel relay module. I have used this in so many other tutorials. Over here, I have connected 12 volt adopter is these are 12 volt SPDT type relays so that's why I'm using a 12 volt adopter. As I said it's a dual control system I can control these relays from the HMI touch screen and I can also control these relays using my Android cell phone. So first of all let me control these relays using buttons on the touch screen. Now let's control these buttons from the cell phone. First of all, connect your cell phone with the Bluetooth module. As you can see now it's connected as the LED is blinking at the slower rate. And you can see I'm receiving the values. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.